How's it going out there? I just wanted to do this a uh, quick little video on this update of the GM lithium volt battery packs. Um, anyways, our company is Solar World. Like us on Facebook. Check us out on the uh, YouTube, will you? Anywho, uh, sorry for the clarity of my phone. It's not necessarily there. We go. <laughs> So I got inspired by Tesla's Powerwall. You know, of course, uh, I've been wanting to uh, install one of those things for a long time. The, uh, the price is a little too expensive uh, for most people. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, this is about a third of the cost for this total build. This is a Tesla-inspired Powerwall by SolarWorld. Um, so anyways, let me uh, show you what's inside. So... We have three GM uh, lithium volt batteries running at 25.2 volts, uh, roughly about 200 amps um, per pack. Uh, so at the end of the day, I am registering somewhere around 1400 usable watts, if I'm lucky, around 1200 on average uh, per pack. So about 3600 watts, uh, so 3.6 kW uh, for this particular system. Um, running it through solar is tricky so I came up with a solution for battery backup needs uh, you're not using them every day so we're just basically storing the energy and going to discharge it when we need it right so uh, this slow trickle charge um, at about 2.5 amps somewhere around 75 watts um, it takes about two days to charge this whole pack all these together uh, around like 36 to 40 hours or something like that um, anyways does good does what it's supposed to charges them at 95% doesn't make anything overheated um, no problems whatsoever so far uh, I even cut the top just a little bit so it can vent uh, so that MOSFET uh, and the heat sinks could get rid of some of this heat, excess heat um, over here I have a DC disconnect that um, all the BMS's at the top of the battery bank um, are linked to this bus bar negative positive and then this goes into this block right here as you can see for the AC DC disconnect if I can get this in here in a timely manner huh there we go so pretty easy Each one of these inverters, uh, I like to test, make sure everything's running good. You know, the software is doing like it's supposed to, so forth. Um, I like to do at least 20 hours of testing. Uh, I got a, roughly about 14.684 kW ran through this particular unit already. About 61 hours of runtime uh, test, charging, and discharging. Um, I use these MPPT solar controllers. As you can see, I got a bank of them. And uh, I have other battery cells and stuff like that that I'm in uh, the process, of course, of working on. So let's show you what this bad boy can do. We're in the amp, amp settings right now. Uh, roughly about three amps, you know, just to kind of keep everything running and everything like that. Right here, I have zero watts being pulled. This is a 1500 watt, uh, whoops, heater, max setting, oh, sugar is getting hot on me now. This sucker's getting warm. Anyways, uh, it will run like this for a good solid three hours, no problem, and still have juice in the bank to run lights and so forth and uh, backup need. So there's plenty of space for adding on. Uh, I figured roughly, you know, in this configuration, I could fit a grand total of five. Um, I'll just make these boxes custom, you know, to order to customers' uh, specifications. 
over here. So at about 25 volts, we're running 51 amps. That's pretty heavy. But 51 amps. Nothing's warm. Each one of these packs will supply 60 amps. So technically, I have 100 amps in the bank that this pack that this pack could, you know, potentially use. So if you times that by three, that's 1500. That's 4500 watts that this pack could use. And this thing's 8,000 watt, 32,000 peak, no problem. Plenty of space for add-on. Man, I'm happy with this build. Anyways, tell me what you think. <laughs> Add stuff, take off stuff. You know, dreams coming true, baby. Thanks for listening.